To make this mask, all you need is what you see here in this video. There's a piece of fabric about 10 by 15 inches, cotton fabric. There is a strip of jersey, you could use elastic, about 30 inches long. You could use something that isn't stretchy, but stretchy is better. And something with a little wire in it, I'm showing you two choices. One is a piece of twist tie on the left, and the other is taken from a coffee bag. I really hate ironing, but to make this particular mask, ironing is the best way to go because I tried it with pins and it doesn't work as well. All the ironing you have to do is the short ends of your fabric about a quarter of an inch. What you're making is a cloth mask from a rectangle of fabric. It has a little piece of stiffener of some kind in it up at the top. This one is just a piece of twist tie. And it has two channels along the sides that hold the ties. So here is how you do it. I have pressed the ends of my fabric. So the first thing you want to do is line up the pressed edges. And then you want to come about three inches in from the cut edge, here's the cut edge, along the ironed edge, and this is going to be the open, it's going to be the bottom of the mask and it's going to be a place where you're leaving an opening for putting in a filter. So you backstitch just a few and then you come to about an inch away, be careful not to go further, from the cut edge and you roll a little bit of a seam allowance and then, then you turn it over once more so that you've got enough room to put a cord tie piece of elastic, almost anything, in this channel that you're making and you just take it one stitch in. Just catch the edge, one or two stitches. So you just catch the edge of that and then you lift up your foot with the needle in place and you're making an L-shaped stitch, making sure that your channel seam allowance stays in there and you're going to sew right along the edge of that fold. All the way to the other end. And then back stitch a little bit. And then lift up your needle. And then you need a piece of stiffener. This is just a piece of twist tie. Um, people make them out of all kinds of stuff. I've seen one person who used two pieces of copper wire laid into electrical tape. That would work. Um, the main thing is you don't want a, a, a sharp piece of wire at either end that doesn't have some way to keep it from poking through the fabric. So, some people are just picking up the foot at this point, getting your thread loose, coming along to here. You want to not catch that piece of metal. You just want to make a little narrow channel where that piece of metal, which is your nose clip, can be. I am going to backstitch one or two stitches so that I don't have to worry about all that thread coming out. Then you run along until you're pretty sure you're past the end of it and you backstitch again and you and you don't have to disconnect your thread just pick up your needle come along to the end here and again you need to turn over that tie channel so here's seam allowance and about another half inch then I go to here and I'm going to put my needle down a little bit in so that I can backstitch that end 
make sure you don't lose your channel. You really want to go along the edge of it, which I'm not quite, so I'm going to go back. I'm going to, after I get this all done, I'm going to make sure that that opening is big enough. And if it isn't, you stop here and you come back along the open edge and then you backstitch. And there are at least two or three inches open at that spot where somebody could put in a filter if they want to. And you're done. That's all the sewing it takes. Then you want your threads cut. And up at the top where you've got your nose clip, you've got some extra thread you can cut off. And the reason that I did that back stitch was because I don't want to lose that bit of stitching. Okay. Now, what I'm using for this is, I don't know when I got this many years ago, but if you don't have one, it is made for threading things. That's what it's made for. But if you don't have one, a, a safety pin, kind of middle-sized safety pin will probably work. Anything that allows you to start at the top, which is where your little nose piece is. Now you take whatever threading device you've got, and you Put it through, and actually, here we go, you start at the top, which is where the nose piece is, and you end up down at the bottom where that opening for the filter is, and then you go back the other way. And it's done. That's it.